Welcome all. Today we'll learn about the VA characteristics of light emitting diode. Let's see how to do the experiment. So let us first understand what is LED. LED is nothing but light emitting diode. Now why this diode emits light? Right. The reason behind this is now usually LEDs are made with the compound semiconductors which have direct band gap. So what is direct band gap? See, we all know we have a valence band in any semiconductor. So let us understand this is a valence band and we also have a conduction band above valence band wherein the electrons can move freely. So once an electron from a valence band leads to a conduction band, it becomes a free electron. Right. This free electron, when it falls again back to the same hole where it has earlier created, now this will give us energy in the form of a photon. That is, energy is conserved in this case, so it comes out in the form of photon. So, when it comes out in the form of photon, the energy of that photon is equal to, E is equal to H into mu. That is the frequency. Now, and H is a Planck's constant here. So, this is the reason why the energy is conserved and comes out in the form of a photon. And this is the energy E is equal to H into mu. This energy is actually nothing but the energy difference between the balance band and conduction band. So, we call it as an energy gap here. So, the different colored LEDs emit different colors because of this energy gap. So, frequency, we know frequency is nothing but 1 by lambda. So, we wavelength is inversely proportional to frequency and frequency is now dependent on the energy gap. So, depending on the energy gap, we have different colored LEDs coming out. So, this is the circuit what we have here. Now, in this circuit, we can see here the LED is connected in parallel to a old meter and in series we have a milliameter, a resistor connected with the source. Now, this connection is actually a forward bias connection. Only in the forward bias connection, LEDs emit light and in reverse bias, they work just like a normal diode. So, we are only interested in emission, light emission. So, here we connect the circuit in the forward bias. So, this is a circuit, right? Let us see how to connect the circuit here. Now, I have the board here. This is an LED board, LED characteristic board. So, let us understand how to connect this. Now, look at this. We have the voltage, variable voltage supply to be connected to a resistor. So, this is a posture of my supply which has to be connected to a resistor. So, let me choose any one of the resistors here because I have set of resistors here, a few set of uh, different colored LEDs here, right? Now, from a resistor, it is connected to the ammeter positive. From ammeter, it is connected to voltage positive, that is voltmeter positive or LED positive. That means LED and voltmeter should be connected in parallel. So, first, we'll let us connect these two in parallel and then continue with the circuit. Now, say I have, I'm using a blue color LED here. I'll connect this in parallel to the voltmeter that is positive to positive and negative to negative. So, parallel connection is done. Now, take the ammeter negative either connect it to voltmeter positive or LED positive. So, I'll connect it to voltmeter positive here and from the voltmeter negative, it is connected to the supply negative. So, this is the connection. Now, let us see, you have already seen some values here, right? Let us start it, make it as a 0 first. So, see, we have 0 reading on the voltmeter and also 0 on the current ammeter, okay? Now, let us start increasing the voltage, input voltage. You see the voltage is increasing, but there is no change in the current. Now, this is why, because you look at the graph here. When you plot a graph between voltage versus current, you see as the voltage increases, till certain value of voltage, there will be no current seen. And after this voltage, that is this voltage is called a threshold voltage. The, this is a minimum required voltage for the diode to work. So, after the threshold voltage, the current starts increasing and it increases exponentially. So, this is the graph. So, exactly what is that you are seeing here is you do not have any reading seen on the ammeter as I increase the voltage. Now, you can see the values on the current started increasing. So, this is a minimum required voltage where the current started increasing in the circuit. So, this is a minimum required voltage which is called a threshold voltage. So, after this you see the current increases exponentially. So, you can observe as voltage increases current also increases.
Now this is an exponential increase what you are finding that is for a small change in the voltage also you will see a large change in the current and you can also observe that the color of the LED is seen here that is the blue color of the LED is seen here the LED started glowing and as I increase the voltage further you will see the intensity of the blue color starts increasing more brighter. So now you have to tabulate the values taking the voltage and current. Now you can see the voltage and the current values. You can note the values like this is uh, three different color for three different colors it is given here. Since we have some set of colors here you can choose any of the colors and do it in the repeat, I mean, repeat the experiment in the same way for all the colors. So once you tabulate the values that is taking the voltage on x axis and current on y axis here the value is taken with a 0.5 different like 0.5 1 1.5 in volts and corresponding current values are also noted so once you finish noting the values now we have to plot a graph when you take voltage on the x axis and current on y axis for different colors you can see different curves here right no color will overlap on each other. Any color you take, it, the color sequence, you can draw the curve here and you will see that they are all separated. So this is the VI characteristics of LED.